Introducing to you today the Ritchie 4 meter grassland harrow. We can supply the harrow as a manual fold or as we're showing you today, a hydraulic fold. I want to start by talking about the heart of the harrow, which is the harrow mat. The harrow mat is a consumable part. It's like plough metal. You will need to replace it through passage of time. The harrow mat is made up with a number of these castings. We call them tri spikes and there's also the harrow ring which links them together. The tri spike casting you will see has a long tooth on one side which is about 60 millimeters long and there's also a short tooth on the opposite side which is 30 millimeters long. You will find that the tooth itself has a rake to it. One side is straighter than the other. So in effect, you can pull this casting four different ways for four different results. For example, the long tooth, if you were on permanent pasture or semi-permanent pasture and you're wanting to be harrowing out dead grass and uh, moss of the long tooth down, say you're going on to a ground that's been carrying quite a lot of stock and there's a lot of dung sitting on top, animal dung, I would suggest use the short tooth and you have the benefit then of the web for actually help break open uh, any dung that's lying on top. The casting itself weighs about two kilograms, so when it's made into a mat, the mat is quite heavy and it will actually hug the ground uh, doing the, the work it's designed to do. The casting itself is made from a special grade of cast called GG35. Uh, the GG35 is uh, properties that give you long lasting wear. As I said earlier, the Harrow's castings are linked together with these rings. As well as the mat being a replaceable item, we also supply individual castings and individual rings should the need occur. The harrow itself you'll see is an all galvanized unit uh, so it gives long life on the, on the frame. The construction of the harrow we have category 2 linkage on it. Uh, it's nice and open so you can have uh, easy access with the quick release couplings. We have a float position for the top link which allows the harrow to rise and fall as you're going along without uh, ploughing into the ground. You'll see at the very front of the harrow we have two levelling bars. They're ideal for actually taking out any mole hills that happen to be there. A quick word on changing the orientation uh, of the tri spike casting from long tooth to short tooth or vice versa. We want you to do this hydraulically, not manually. Uh, very simple to do. What you do is undo the side chains, undo the studs on the front shackles, lift the rings off, leaving those rear chains in place. We then lift the harrow up on the hydraulics of the tractor and draw forward, and that allows the mat to fold over. Lower the frame, reconnect it. So it's all done hydraulically, nothing manual. This is a general overview of our four meter harrow as I said earlier, it, this one here is hydraulic, but we also supply it manually or for manual fold. Uh, for further information, contact any of our area sales managers or alternatively phone the sales office in Forford.